Hey, where will I be cheap famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and you are more than welcome. Now hopefully you're watching me in black and white right now. If not, welcome to Gloria's Technicolor. As you will have seen from the thumbnail, uh, the title, and if you read any of it, the description. <coughs> I got my hands on the Nikki Tutorials X a Beauty Bay palette. So, um, what my thoughts on this, and. Uh, You want to see what this looks like in Glory's Technicolor? And you're wondering why I'm swallowing a lot and talking a bit weird? As I've said for some time, often hear echoed elsewhere on less imaginative channels, but I have the backup of Sammy the Sloth Straw. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey my lovelies, welcome back from the intro. Okay, I will have shown you this in the intro. Sadly I didn't get a signed one. Nikki randomly signed some to go out to people, so <sighs> some people got very lucky indeed. Um, and I got the black version of the Nikki uh, pop socket with that, which I actually preferred to the, uh, the bright pink one. So I was quite pleased I got that option. Okay. Now, Nikki has got a paragraph here, but in her reveal video, she said that she wanted you to. It's also on the back of the palette. She wanted you to read it on the palette itself, so I will adhere to her wishes and I will not be reading it out. Uh, and because she didn't sign it, I can bin the, pretty though it is, I can bin the cover. I'm sure we've all seen this. This side has a normal mirror and is her bright side of the palette. This side has a magnifying mirror, thank you Nikki, and is the darker side of the palette. And altogether looks like that gorgeous I have done swatches swatches don't really give an indication on I'll stick them up here swatches don't give an indication on how a palette will perform just shows you how the colors will look on my skin tone this is a pressed pigment palette So with this I would, I'm expecting to have a great deal of fun trying to get these to blend because pressed pigments can be a bit awkward. Now, I may slur at you a bit and I may talk a bit less than usual. I had a tooth snap on me. Very sharp bit. I've now got a rather large blister on the side of my tongue. Very painful. Every time I swallow or talk, said blister rubs against sharp bit. Now, hubby bless him, shot off into town yesterday and got me one of these emergency dental repair kits because 
as usual in the uh, in the UK, NHS dentists are pretty much like finding hen's teeth. Um, and of course, any dentists that were taking people on before the COVID thing are not at the moment because they've got all their backlog of patients that they need to see. I can't afford to pay private fees because just for them to have a look in your mouth, not do anything, just look in your mouth, no x-rays or anything, 50 quid. tell you exactly what's wrong in my mouth without you charging me 50 quid to tell me I've got a busted tooth thanks so yeah if I slow a little bit it's because I have packed the tooth out as best I can but the very sharp bit it's poking through so it's persistent little bugger to add to everything else I'm dealing with right now, seriously, if God only sends you what he thinks you can cope with, I wish he would stop mistaking me for a cross between Wonder Woman and Chuck Norris. Anyway, this is a teaching channel. I'm just going to put some text up on screen. Um, the reason I've started to put the text up is because people that fast forward through probably don't see this but they probably don't hear this and therefore I'm assuming these are the people that are still complaining. And the majority of the complaints you don't see because YouTube holds them back for review and if I decide they're a bit too sweary they don't get shown. So if you've seen your comment it's probably not you that I'm whinging about. <laughs> As a teaching channel and with as someone with chronic pain, I go at a speed that beginners can keep up with. If this is too slow for you, use the speed widget, speed me up. I also zoom in very close to just my eyes. This means when I'm looking down to change brushes or put more pigment on a brush, etc you will see my hairline. The reason I zoom in this far is because I have people with very bad eyesight watching me on a mobile phone screen and if I was any further zoomed out they wouldn't be able to see what's going on. Now for the majority of this tutorial I am probably not going to speak because it's still very painful and I made you stick music over the top if that's the case enjoy the music um, I will be using the um, Viennese Waltz blend where you do natural turns towards the nose, the flecker when we get there reverse turns to come back out again. Doing that rather than the windscreen wiper helps to prevent the creasing that you can get and the white stripes which are a dead giveaway. So I'm going to insert a very up close and personal clip where I talk you through the difference between hooded and deep set eyes and I'll be back at the other end to apply some pigment to my eyelids but as I said there's a good likelihood I won't be talking much if at all if that is the case I may break my golden rule and speed film up slightly uh, but I will film with this again once I've got my mouth sorted. Here's clip. 
Now, um, my eyes have this primer on it. This is the Crown Pebble Primer in blank page cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%. And I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Chrome Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot, for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this. You can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest. The deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well. So you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush. Just a very light layer. And then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now, I've got deep set eyes, so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes, I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover the visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much if not more lid that tucks back away out of sight and if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open and it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that hooded lids get so what are the workarounds if you have hooded lids get a brush something like this or a pencil brush sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow so just use smaller blending brushes or if necessary take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using just sit back relax your brows and make sure you've brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. So two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids but that have very similar issues. Hey, I am back. Okay, time to pop some colour on. I will most likely just pop a thing up on screen telling you which colour I'm using to save my poor mouth. <laughs>
fan on because blisteringly really hot in here again. Uh, the mascara I used was my Catrice Glamondal Volume Waterproof Mascara. It's a dupe for Bad Gal Band, but it's cheaper and it's waterproof. The highlight is Ofra's Pillow Talk. The lippy is Charlotte Tilbury Amazing Grace. But what do I think of this so far? I was expecting the yellow to give me a lot of trouble because it's neon and it's a pressed pigment and those two things together normally equal it's going to take you half an hour to build the colour up it didn't take me half an hour to build the colour up obviously I have gone for a bright look once I've got my mouth sorted and can talk properly I'll do a darker look where I actually talk you through the tutorial um, but hopefully you were able to see that um, these performed really really well um, very often with pressed pigments you have to pat them to blend them patted them to apply but then I could do my usual blend whether that's the Crow and Pebble primer helping me I don't know because obviously one of the reasons that I always always mention this in every film where I'm applying makeup is not because I've got a discount code with them so I don't earn from that discount code I don't get a check back. But you say, I think it's 15% of Crown Pebble. But the reason I love their primer, it applies like a cream, so it blends really nicely. It has enough opacity to cover veins discoloration, hyperpigmentation but it dries down to a powder effect without needing to be set and even though it dries to a powder effect so you can blend on it straight away it doesn't mitigate any of the depth of colour or the the brightness that you will get from the pigments you are using so it's best of both worlds you don't have to choose that payoff between ease of blending or bright colours because you get both with the crown pebble she does at the moment six shades white is the lightest which I use um, there's a black and a chocolate brown at the deepest end and then there's, I think, three skin tone shades in between. So you should be able to find something that will work for you. All my discounts are listed below, by the way, uh, and they will clearly state if I own from them or not. But we are talking about this particular palette. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't that fussed about buying this. Until the owner of Pinky Rose decided to accuse Nikki of copying her colour story. Do you own the rainbow now, girl? Get as bad as James Charles. But she shared a post that somebody else had done accusing Nikki of copying one of her palettes. Bad enough that she shared that post. But she then wrote across it, Bitch stole my look, or bitch stole my palette, or something. Can we say unprofessional? 
Now I'm too old, too fat and too ugly to put up with this shit. I had one Kinky Rose palette. It has now been depotted and anonymised within my collection. This is the biggest insult I can pay a company. The only other company I've done that with is Jeffree Star. <coughs> Let's let that sink in for a minute. I'd always had a lot of respect for Pinky Rose. I'd wanted some more of their palettes. Now, I wouldn't touch them with somebody else's six foot barge pole. But it did make me say, but well, you know what, if you're going to behave like that, I'm going to buy Nikki's palette just to piss you off a bit more. And I'm really glad that I did. Because photos don't do this justice, they really don't. Um, these are pressed pigments though, so press very lightly. Um, you can apply these shimmers with a brush if you're careful. I applied them um, or I packed them onto a flat brush and then sprayed them. But they applied the same dry as they did wet, it was just slightly more fallout. Obviously it would apply easier with your finger, assuming you haven't got huge long talons, which obviously I haven't at the moment because I just haven't got back round to getting mine put back on again. Um, but also you don't get the crisp edges if you're going for a specific cut crease where you want a sharp edge. You've got to use a brush. I'm going to try them next time using this silicone brush to see if I get any better or easier results, if they pick up any easier. Um, and I'll let you know. If they do, when I do the dark one, I'll probably end up using Mr. Tutorials because look at that colour. I'll stick the swatches up somewhere again. But I'll probably end up using Mr. Tutorials because that's just such a stunning colour. And I'll apply that with the silicone brush just so that you can see on screen the difference between applying it with a bristle brush and a silicone one. And I am really struggling now to not slur at you or spit which is lovely. Suffice to say I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these shades so far. And I have no complaints. And I'm loving the fact that this mirror magnifies. Thank you so much for that, Nikki. Thank you for understanding that some of us are the right side of 40 and may need a little bit of assistance when it comes to um, actually seeing ourselves clearly. So, that being said, I'm very happy with it. I can definitely recommend if you like the car story. Once it's back in stock, crack on and pick it up. Okay, if you're a regular viewer, um, please check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing people. They've also changed that they are not sending notifications out anymore. But when they did this, they knocked everybody's notifications back to personalised rather than all. So, assuming that in two weeks' time they'll make another change without telling anybody, just double check that your bell is still rung and it still says all. 
just in case they suddenly decide to start sending emails again. Who knows? Uh, a like would be lovely, a comment would be great, a share would be delightful. And I'm not talking about share, I'm talking about sharing my film elsewhere. Oh, I got very well shown in my film. <coughs> if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, this is not my normal type of tutorial. Normally I talk you through every single step and I don't speed it up and there's no music but issues. Uh, that being said, it would be lovely if you two would like to join the 4F family. Crackingly easy to do. You hit that red subscribe button down there and turn it grey and then you too can ring my bell. Ring my bell and choose all notifications and just hope and pray that YouTube starts sending emails again. Until they do, I've got a lot of playlists with a lot of films. There's my normal style of tutorial where I talk you through each stage slowly so you can keep up with me. I usually blather on about some kind of nonsense as well, which apparently people seem to quite enjoy. Um, as well as tutorials, there are product reviews, there are challenges, collabs, tags. I even read you my favourite poem. So if you're looking for a bit of me time, basically grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up and indulge my lovelies. What a good way to, you know, just chill out for a few hours and just watch pretty makeup. Given what's going on in the rest of the world, we all need some me time, huh? Right, my lovelies, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll say fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.